Hey guys, Yoshi here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm really excited that I'm going to share Golden Lion's unstoppable guard pass. He plays three major positions. Long range, step passes. Middle range, headquarters. Short range, pressure passes. In this video, I'm going to explain how he plays those positions and connects between each other. Also, why he's unstoppable. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, let's start with the long range step passes. Before starting step passes, there needs to be a grips. Where Golo wants to grab is around the ankles like this. Just like this, it's pretty simple. And then from now, not going for the guard pass straight away. Seems like Golo wants to swing the person's leg side to side like this. Then opponent starts reacting it. If Golo wants to go this way, seems like uh, he tries to swing a couple of times to go to the opposite like this. Then when he reacts, throw like this. Then this is not like an even complicated idea. Just throwing legs to the side, then Golo wants to cut in like this. If it happens, got a pass. After that, he's going to establish the upper body control to complete a got a pass. Or other idea. So here, there's been actual reaction. But he was not able to find a way to cut in to take near side of the corner. So in this case, he's gonna do another step pass, like making a control on the hip bone and the knee. Get the arm inside to control the hips like this. Then other one, pin down the knee like this. So this one, it's very important to use the, like a lead arm in multiple ways. Pressing the hip bone. Use the elbow to block the thigh and make the frame, like shifting the body weight, like making a tripod. Then it's gonna be a similar situation we can expect. If there is no space to take knee outside the hip, knee on belly, that's it all. If that is difficult, Godo also wants to change the range, the middle range to the head quarter, or the short range of the pressure pass, he gets into the half guard. Then he can progress the situation. Of course, his opponent knows what Gordon wants to do. That's why in this case, when Gordon starts swinging like side to side, his opponent tries to put their knees close to the shoulders like this. So in that case, Gordon switched to the middle range, head quarter, just like this. Right on the next one, middle range, headquarters. That's his one of favorite positions. Most of the people really like to squat down here and make the dominant base. But what Golden plays is slightly different. Usually the time he goes to the headquarter, this is the key to make the dominant position. But a lot of guys try to avoid this one. That's why in this case, this is why he likes to do that. Just like in a back step like this. This is similar to a long step. Then whenever he finds space, he gets into headquarter. Or if that is difficult, in this case, he's gonna do the counter guard pass, high step. What he likes to place his hook here, just like this. Like temporary cross in the feet, like the X hack. And then, if there's a space, go and pull the right leg out. So the time, opponent tries to come back in front of it to make no angle. Go and start cupping the hips, pressing the hips. Knee, then come to the other side. If there's a space, knee on belly. But this time, since he's starting from middle range, there's even more chance to get into the short range, like half guard like this. All right, next one, one of the best case scenarios in headquarters, passing the hands forward like this. Almost like passing the hands over the person's head. He looks bad position, seems like there's been a risk to get unlocked or exposed in the legs, but this is not something like that. It's very important to make the decent base. Decent base means using the hand and the near side the leg. This way, it's more like a squeezing the knee in. And then Gordon can make the dominant position. From now, counter pass. Since in this situation, we haven't used the left leg, it's really easy to circle the hip. This, shin on shin. After that, it's pretty simple. Just need to push this one off. Then it kind of depends on the reaction. If there's a space a lot around the abdominal line, it's gonna be pretty easy to hide the feet underneath, pass and mount. But most of the time, opponent should be catching the ankle 
it tends to be three quarter mount, which is okay, short range. Then Godo can easily start short range pressure passes. Right, the short range. This is the most dominant position he loves to play and no one can stop. There's been a few cases we can consistently get into the position. If that is from long range, like using the step passes to cut into the half guard. From middle range, from the headquarter, from this position, he's gonna do the classical underhook pass, like single leg pro. Then this is about unlocking the knee shield. If the opponent has been compromised with the pressure, in that case, Gordon can proceed in action. Once he gets into this position, he really loves to take near side the corners. Near side the corner means near side the hip bone and cross face. Instead of reaching the upper body control, he much prefers to put a knee in here. I call this one taking a near side the corner, which is super important. He just simply makes cross face like this. I want to see the situation, there's been two corners, it's been taken on the near side, hip and the shoulder, like this. There's been a few cases. If Gordon can find a space under the armpit, he makes underhook straight away. And then after that, make butterfly hook to three quarter mount for the mount. That's option number one. But most of the time, his opponent does a good job. He didn't allow to give the underhook. Gordon wants to pull the knee first to go to the headquarter. Armpit's been completely opened. Take under hook. So after that, as soon as it happens, he likes to make butterfly hook here. Then in this position, it seems like he wants to control opponent's head as well. If I can say specific, it seems like he wants his chest or shoulder to lock opponent's forehead. Then it can be very hard for his opponent to bridge or hip escapes. Then a hands, instead of making a gable, he much prefers to do butterfly grips, like deeper gable grips. That enables to open the elbows to make better balance. Gordon never squeezes the elbows in to put the pressure because there's no base. That's a little tip. Well, another idea. This time, Gordon wants to make heavy cross face, like making a cross face with both of the arms. As you can see, this is a dominant frame. Then there's been a bonus point. After that, Gordon can make gift wrap easily like this. That's also he loves as well. All right, that's been it. Do you guys enjoy this video? So, please make sure you hit the like button to make this video viral on YouTube. I much appreciate your support. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please don't forget to do that for upcoming videos. Thanks so much. I'll guys catch you next video. Bye.